Hi everybody, um, I'm back. Uh, this is my second vlog. Um, obviously I had a, an intro vlog uh, a couple of weeks ago now um, and then I got ill uh, with a really bad chest infection which you can probably still hear in my voice. Um, I've still got a bit of a cough unfortunately so I'll try not to cough on the video so um, hopefully uh, I'll, I'll cut most of that out. Um, but I had, uh, I had after, since my sort of intro video, I had a big birthday, um, as you may or may not have seen. So I turned 50 um, and then we had some friends over um, the weekend just before my birthday. Um, and then obviously it was my birthday. I had a couple of days off work, went back to work and then we went on holiday for a week. So um, it's been quite a busy couple of weeks. I've not been able to vlog um, because of all of that and also for my illness. So um, I thought I'd pop on today. So we actually got back last night um, and we landed, I think about half six, but it took us a little while to get back home through all the passport control and everything. Um, uh, but yeah, we had a great holiday. We went to Turkey for a week uh, and it was amazing. We stayed, we stayed in this really, really nice hotel um, because it was my birthday, we kind of booked um, something a little bit extra special um, and we had sort of a penthouse suite and it, yeah it was just amazing felt just felt so relaxed um, and we had amazing weather on average it was about 23 24 every day and then we had one or two days um, towards the end of the week where it actually got up to 27 um, which for February is absolutely amazing so yeah we couldn't couldn't have been luckier really so anyway I'm back <laughs> um, so yeah, hello, welcome, welcome to my vlog. I'm Claire. Um, so I'll be talking about all things sewing related, and today I thought I'd just pop on and just do a little fabric haul, really. Um, only only a handful of fabrics, but these are my most recent purchases. And I don't know about you, I love seeing people's fabric hauls. Um, I am a little bit of a fabric addict. <laughs> I shall probably um tell you that. So there may be a few more of these. Um, sort of vlogs, <coughs> excuse me, um, but um, yeah, I thought I'd just share sort of my most recent purchases with you um, and just talk about those um, and uh, yeah, I don't know if it'll be that long in this video, but I thought just a little um, sort of intro back back into it. Um, uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll crack on with the first one. So um, the first one, oh, sorry. Uh, hopefully that that noise wasn't too loud um so uh back in f end of january Feb beginning of february um i went to guthrie and garney um so they had like a little sample sale but i also um picked up a fabric when i was there so i just thought i'd share that one um which is this um it's actually like a viscose it's really lightweight really drapey um, and I don't know if you can see, but it's like a navy colour. Um, so I bought two metres of this and it was actually really reasonable. It was uh, £9.90 a metre. Um, and I have plans to make some kind of a blouse with this because it's just so um, lightweight. I think it would make a lovely blouse for the summer. Um, so that is my first fabric that I'm sharing with you. Um, by the way, um, my fabric choices, um, I tend to be, well, I should say, I tend to gravitate more towards fabrics that um, have kind of geometric kind of shapes on them or maybe some florals. I do go for some florals, um, but none, nothing too twee, to be honest. Um, I like faces. I like um, sort of... Uh, leaf prints all of that kind of stuff really um very rarely go for planes <laughs> so you'll probably see that most of my makes um are will be uh will be sort of quite colorful and mainly prints um but yeah we'll uh I'll, I'll probably have to get some planes at some point to to drop in there but um Okay, so the next fabric I'm going to show you, this is also from Guthrie and Garney. So um, this was a fabric that they shared or they they um, they had in a box a while back 
and I was really tempted to buy it but the box is sold out so quickly that I just didn't get chance um but the fabric has come back into stock so um it's this so <coughs> excuse me um this is again it's a viscose um let me show you so you can probably see this is a single layer this is Again, it's quite lightweight. It's not too see-through, like that's my hand behind it. It's a little bit lightweight, um, but it's really, it's got a really lovely sort of drape to it. And basically, the uh, the box that they sold was the Olia, Olia shirt pattern. Um, so I have actually purchased the pattern and I want to make the Olia shirt with this fabric. So um, that one has a definite plan, which I think will be really nice for summer. So there you go. I quite like, quite like sort of shirts, over shirts and stuff. Don't have too many of them, but I do really like that look. So that's definitely gonna be the Olia shirt. Okay, my next fabric. Um, this one, um, this is actually from uh, Think Pink subscription box. Now, I don't subscribe to the box at all, um, but on the odd occasion, I sometimes buy, if she's got an overstock of boxes, <coughs> excuse me, if she's got an overstock of boxes, I sometimes purchase them. Um, I've actually only bought a couple in the past before, um, but I quite fancied the one... Um, the most recent one I think February's box I think it was um I didn't know what the fabric was or anything so I just decided to purchase the box um and this is the fabric that I got so this is a 100% uh, viscose sorry I'm looking down because I've got some notes um just below me so that I can remember what the fabrics are um but yeah this came from the Think Pink subscription box um, it's a really nice weight fabric, nice, um, it's got a nice bit of drape, it's not too see-through. To be honest, I probably wouldn't buy this fabric if I'd seen it in the shop, um, but um, it's kind of grown on me and my plan for this is to make, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> my plan for this is to make a pair of uh, Tilly and the Buttons Saffia trousers. Um, because I think these would make a really nice pair of trousers. So I made a pair for the first time for my holiday. And actually, I really love wearing them on holiday. And um, this fabric, I think, would be perfect for a pair of those. Nice, loose, lightweight trousers. So that is my plan for this. Um, and that's two and a half metres of that fabric, by the way. Um, I don't think I mentioned, but the blue and white striped fabric is also two and a half metres. Um, which will be plenty for, for that shirt. <coughs> so my next fabric to show you is this. I absolutely love this. Um, so I mentioned that I'm not a massive floral sort of person, but this one just jumped out of me because look at those colours. How beautiful are those colours? So um, as I've probably mentioned in my first vlog, I absolutely love bright colours. Um, I always wear bright colours. Um, I'm not really a pastel-y sort of person. Um, this is a viscose jersey. And as you can see, there's just a little bit of stretch in it. Um, and my plan for this is to make another one of the Adrienne blouse by Friday Pattern Company. So um, that's the one that's fairly fitted on the... Um, on the body and then it has quite voluminous voluminous sleeves so um you may have seen i made one recently in a lovely organic jersey from lamazi so i bought this from heyso sister i've got one and a half meters um it was 10 pound per meter and this um it will be plenty um i think the adrienne blouse actually takes like 1.2 or 1.3 meters so um this will be perfect for that um, so yeah, I can't wait to make that one up. That may jump to the top of my queue soon. <laughs> so that's that one. And then the last fabric I'm sharing with you. So um, 
for my birthday, my husband actually bought me some fabric. Um, I mean, I did actually do a little wish list, which I sent out to a couple of people in my family. Um, and this fabric was on there. <coughs> um, I've seen this, I've seen this recently. And um, I absolutely loved it, but... It's one of those ones, it's just a little bit more expensive. And I thought actually that would, if somebody wanted to buy me something for my birthday, that would make a good gift. So um, the fabric is this. So <coughs> I'll open it out a little bit to show you. Um, so this has got lots of beautiful colors in it. I suppose it's a little bit more muted for me than uh, some of the bright colours, I suppose, but there, I mean, there are pops of bright colours in here. It's it's the dark green actually that jumped out at me, um, and I love, I don't know, I just love all the colours in this. Um, so this is a viscose. It's, I mean, it's so soft. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, and this is called Summer Party painted foliage and this colourway is the forest so um, my husband bought me three metres of this so um, yeah that's going to be plenty to make a dress my plan is to make a dress I'm not entirely sure which dress I want to make yet um, obviously I want to do it justice and I want it to be a nice special dress so I need to have a think about which dress to do I don't know if it'll be, <coughs> excuse me, I don't know if it'll be a dress that I've already made or whether I try something new. Um, but I always find it a bit scary trying a new pattern, um, especially when I haven't tested the fit before. So I may possibly, um, I may possibly pick a dress that I've already made that I know fits okay. So we'll see. But yeah, it's absolutely stunning. And I was so happy to get this fabric. Um, so yeah that's uh that is the fabrics that i'm sharing with you today so not a huge a hugely big vlog um uh, oh i should probably sh share what i'm wearing today as well um so i mean we're keeping it quite casual today we just got back from our holiday last night as i mentioned so um we're actually just waiting for our dog um to be dropped back so he uh i don't think i mentioned him in my first in my first vlog um I did I did actually record a little bit about him um but for some reason um I think I cut that bit of the video out I don't know I don't quite know what happened um but um so we've got a um we've got a little whippet called Ralph <laughs> and he is basically my baby um he is is very spoiled um and he is three and a half years old so he's quite a lively little character. He's quite quirky <laughs> um, and typical whippet behaviours and stuff. But he, while we've been on holiday, he has been away for a week staying um, with somebody in their home. So um, we have, we've never left him that long before. So it was a little bit scary, but apparently he's done brilliantly. Um, although he's not been eating great. So I don't know what he's gonna be like when he comes back, but he's due back today, this morning. Um, probably within, I think, I don't know what the time is now, but I think within the next, um, sort of within the hour. So yeah, we're really excited to see him again. And I know he's just going to be absolutely excited um, when he gets home again. So yeah, we're just waiting for him um, to arrive home. So, um, but yeah, I think I should probably just share what I'm wearing. This is a, um, oh, what's the, what's the name of it? I can't, oh yes, it's a Friday... Friday, no, uh, um, oh, oh, it was on the tip of my tongue then, um, French Navy, that's it, sorry, <laughs> this is a French Navy, um, Aster T, um, and so I thought I'd put this on in, um, uh, in, sort of, to, you know, to kind of welcome Ralph back home, because it's all whippets on, on the t-shirt, so, um, I bought this fabric quite a while ago, Guthrie Garni, and I couldn't resist it when I saw it because obviously, you know, it's got it's got our dog on it. <laughs> um, I'll just stand up quickly just to show you what it looks like. Um, so it's just got little uh, slits there on the side and a little cuff. Um, 
yeah it's quite a basic tea i'm actually just wearing it with some uh, green joggers i don't know if you can quite see those quite bright green joggers it goes quite well with those um but we're having a bit of a lazy day today um we've we've done we've managed to do all our unpacking this morning um i've got the first load of washing on uh, we've packed, put all our cases away, we've got everything tidy, ready to welcome Ralph home. So um, that was kind of my plan. Uh, so we were all, re all ready for him to come home and then we don't have to worry about all our unpacking. So um, <clears throat> I actually got up really early this morning. I think I was up before seven. Um, so uh, I suspect we'll probably have a few days like that um, because Turkey is three hours ahead. So um, yeah. But yeah, uh, I just thought I'd um, just thought I'd pop on really, and hopefully you've enjoyed seeing my little fabric haul. And um, I think my next vlog, I might possibly share some of my holiday outfits if you'll be happy to see those. Um, and I'm also thinking that I might do my vlogs sort of on a Sunday <clears throat> rather than a Friday, um, just because I work full time during the week, and I think. Uh, it might be a little bit more difficult for me to, to kind of film and do all the editing in time for Friday, whereas the weekend I've got a lot more time and obviously the light is better. So I'm kind of thinking that Sunday, Saturday slash Sundays will be good um, for me to do the filming, editing. I'm still learning about the editing, so there's a few bits and pieces that I need to learn. Obviously, my first vlog was a little bit... Um, uh, filmed in the wrong the wrong way so I was in portrait mode I'm in landscape mode now so hopefully this will look a little bit better on the screen and um, I just need to work out how to insert photos so that when I share my holiday sort of um, outfits that I can sort of insert photos but I don't know how to do that yet so um, I need to work that out but um, yeah, anyway, I hope you have liked this vlog. Um, I think we are on about 17, 18 minutes. So um, that's not too bad uh, for my second one. So um, I just want to say, um, obviously, please feel free to like or subscribe. Um, I've already got quite a few followers already, which is fantastic. And I've had so many like great comments and People have been giving me a few hints and tips, um, which has been great. So thank you very much. Um, yeah, I've had great feedback for my first vlog. So hopefully uh, you'll enjoy this one. And um, hopefully I'll see you back here again soon. Thanks very much. Bye.